All right. Welcome, everybody, to the first ever recording for Experimental Deck Building. I'm Onitsin. I blog at The White Tower. And we are going to do deck testing for, as I said, my new blog series, Experimental Deck Building. So for today's tests, we are going to be taking a look at the deck I just posted earlier today. Um, we have a Monotactics Rohan Combat deck, although it can contribute a fair amount of willpower to the quest. It's based around recycling the event 4th Eerlingus with Hama, so that every Rohan hero on the board can attack into the staging area. And our second deck is an Elfhelm mount deck designed to boost the stats of the heroes that are going to be attacking into the staging area, as well as providing a lot of allies to quest with. So, I haven't developed a full roster of quests I want to test this deck against, but we're going to start with one of my favorite quests in the card pool, even if it has become much easier with the full modern card pool, Journey Along the Anduin. The second quest in the core set, and one of my personal favorites. Um, the next blog post in the Experimental Deck Building series will see us put together a full list of quests that we're going to test this deck against. This is my first time running this deck, so there may be mistaken plays, um, I may end up making suboptimal choices, I'm not super familiar with how these decks run yet, but we are going to see how it goes. So let's take a look at opening hands. Deck 1, we have <coughs> cancellation, card draw, threat reduction, and a weapon. We'll probably put the Spear of the Mark on Hama. I think I'm going to keep this opening hand because we have a Song of Travel, which we can immediately put onto Eowyn, which will let us start playing our Spirit cards. Deck 2, we are definitely keeping the opening hand. We drew two Sneak Attacks and a Gandalf. That's our opening threat reduction taken care of right there, not even mentioning... The fact that we have a Westfold Horse Breeder who will be able to dig us up Mount from the top 10 cards of our deck. So I think we're going to keep both of those, and we will proceed with the quest. We will set up, reveal one card per player from the encounter deck, a Goblin Sniper, and Pursued by Shadow. Each player is going to raise our threat by 3. That was something that we just have to be prepared to deal with. Not ideal to be sure, but we'll go ahead, shuffle, pull up the hill troll, which technically we don't do until stage 1b, but we did it. And now let's go ahead and get started. Draw cards. Our first card over here is a Steward of Orthanc. First card over here is Well Warned. Oh, that's perfect. So perfect. Alright, so player one, or deck one, which is first player now, so we're, the first thing we'll do is we'll play a Song of Travel onto Eowyn. We'll save a resource for that Test of Will. And let's give Hama a Spear of the Mark. His attack is now 4. And I suppose before I do anything, let's add in the willpower boosts from Theoden. Just to remind me that they're there. And there's no locations to play the Matham on, so saving for a test of will seems wise. Yeah, we'll wait for a secret vigil. Over here, we will 
play our Westfold Horse Breeder, look at the top 10 cards of the deck, and we have a choice between Arod and Windfulla. I think we're going to pull Windfulla. Eowyn already has a Suck of Travel, so um, attaching Windfulla to her next turn when we have another Spirit Resource will boost her willpower up to 7. And I think I'm just fine with that. Alright, so it is turn 1. We haven't even started questing, and we are already in threat trouble. That is somewhat annoying, but deck one has sneak attack Gandalf to drop threat by five, and we can sneak attack again next round. And then we also have Well Warned to drop deck one's threat if and when we engage an enemy. That Goblin Sniper is going to be annoying, we're going to need to deal with it, but we don't have the wherewithal this round, so. Let's commit characters to the quest. Ao1 for 5, Aomar for 2, Elfhelm for 2, the Horse Breeder for 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. That's 10 against 3 in staging. I think we're better off to leave Theoden up just in case. So. Oh. No, you know what? I'm going to save Sneak Attack and Gandalf. No, we'll need to do it now, because if we wait till the combat phase, we'll have already engaged a hill troll, and I don't like that idea. So let's actually keep Alphelm ready. We'll Sneak Attack Gandalf, dropping our threat by 5 to 29, and quest instead for 12, leaving Elfhelm ready with Theoden to attack back on anything we engage. Or more realistically, Fastred will defend and Theoden will defend for deck one and Hama will kill something. Just saying how it's looking like so far. If we engage anything at all. Our first reveal is Gladden Fields and our second Eastern Crows which surges into Necromancer's Pass. So we've added three, six, seven. So we make two progress on the quest. And deck two will option engage the Eastern Crows. Until I get the hill troll out of the staging area, I can't optionally engage the sniper. So Oh, traveled as before. That. Um. Hmm. Not sure I like the idea of discarding two cards at random from my hand. And. Traveling to the Gladden Fields will boost Deck 1's threat up to 30, forcing us to engage a Hill Troll, which we are not yet ready for. So, Deck 1 really doesn't want to discard any. Ah, we'll do it. Random discard 1. The steward, random discard two, we lose the test of will. Worse things could have happened. Okay, now we will engage the Eastern Crows, block with Fastrid, reduce our threat by two to send the Crows back to the staging area. There's now one, two, four, seven threat in the staging area we will have to quest past. Next round, and the Goblin Sniper will do a damage. We'll do one to Hama, and one to... No, Gandalf was already back in our hand. We 
returned at the end of the quest phase. One to Elfhelm. And back to our current situation. Okay. Deck two is first player. We will play Windfuller on to Eowyn, boosting her willpower by two and her attack by one. We'll save Elfhelm's resource for the sneak attack. Theoden's resources are piling up. I hope we see another Song of Travel soon. Over here, we have a greeting that could be useful. Not... I'm going to play Guthlaf. And we will... Play the Ancient Mathem onto the Gladden Fields, which I anticipate traveling to next round. Our threat will be high enough that it won't matter at that point. We'll need... Oh yeah, between Hama and Eowyn, I can certainly muster an attack to kill a hill troll. And Guthlaf can be a defender at need. So, let's quest for seven, nine, ten, twelve. And again, sneaking attack, sneak attacking Gandalf. Not going to drop the threat this time. This time we'll use Gandalf to draw three cards. Ooh, very nice. Perfect. Perfect. And Gandalf will also quest. So, 7, 9, 13, 14, 16 willpower against 7 threat. Necromancer's Reach. Oh, I lost my... Test of will, that's unfortunate. We lose the horse breeder. And Dole Gulder Orcs will put that two damage on Gandalf. That's actually perfect. As perfect as we could want, I think. So we add a grand total of two threat to the staging area and make six progress. One, two, three, four, five, six. Clearing Necromancer's Pass. Travel to the Gladden Fields. The end of the quest phase. Gandalf returns to hand. And now, engagement. Deck 1 will actually engage the Dolgolder Orcs, and Deck 2 will actually engage the Eastern Crows. Deal Shadow Cards. Deck 2 will defend against the Crows, reducing threat by 2. Oh, and Deck 2 will play Well Warned to reduce Deck 1's threat by 2 when they engage the Orcs. And Guthlaf will block the Orcs. Deal two more shadow cards. Remove progress token from the quest. And no shadow effect. So Guthlaf takes no damage. Fastrit sent those Eastern Crows back to the staging area. And now I'm actually going to leave the orcs around instead of killing them with Hama so that I can play Secret Vigil and use them as a means of threat reduction. So, turn three. Each deck raises threat by one. Ooh, Firefoot. Let's immediately, well no, not yet, because it's not deck one's turn, deck two's turn to play cards. Deck one will play Secret Vigil 
on the Dolgoldor orcs. Oh, and at the end of the round, again, Goblin Sniper's damage. That's going to quickly become problematic. Luckily, there's only one more copy of the Necromancer's Reach. So, with nothing else to do, deck two will play Firefoot onto Aomer, who will get plus two attack from Firefoot and plus one from Elfhelm's boost. Aomer is now at six attack. And we will play Snowman onto Theoden. He'll get an attack boost. As soon as we get a Song of Travel on him, he'll also get a willpower boost from it. But at least now he will have readying available. Unfortunately, we haven't come into a copy of a Fourth Neolingus yet, although we have. We will clear the Gladden Fields before we do any engaging with enemies, so that is still an option. Eowyn will quest for seven. Hama for two. Now we'll leave Hama up. Eowyn for seven. Eight, nine. Twelve. Questing for twelve against four in the staging area. We need to make three progress, which means less than five threat. Um, you know what? We're going to pick Hama as well. So 14, which means we should find even if we reveal a high threat location. The first reveal is the Marsh Adder, and the second is our other copy of Necromancer's Reach, which is not enough to kill anybody, so that's something. And that's all three copies gone. We've added three threat to the staging area. We make seven progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gladden Fields goes to the victory display, and there's Ancient Mathem, and deck one draws three more cards. They're all spirit cards except for the Song of Kings. Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? All right, then. I could theoretically leave things up there for another round. We quested successfully, so bad and readies. But every round I leave things up there, well, no. That Goblin Sniper isn't coming down, no matter what I do at the moment. What I really need is Fourth Aerolingus. I don't have it. Well, deck two will again obviously engage the crows, probably. And that troll isn't doing anything particularly unfortunate up there, so... Oh, other way around. I want that, and that. And... Guthluff will... No, I don't want to lose Guthluff. In any case, it's an attack boosting shadow effect. Then will block the orcs. Fast Red will block the crows who even at boosted attack do no damage, will reduce our threat by two and send them back to the staging area, which is beginning to get a little bit cluttered. And then Aomer will attack for six with Firefoot, killing the orcs and reducing both decks threat by two. And we're ready. And we'll get Grimbled. And well worn. Okay. Things could have been worse. Deck two will play 
Westfold Horse Breeder. And look at the top 10 cards of the deck. There are no mounts in the top 10 cards. That's a pity. Deck one will play Grimbold. And I think this is when we engage the troll. More than likely. And we'll put an unexpected courage onto Aomer. All right. I mean, ideally, we'd want to draw some cards, but. Hmm. All right, and then we'll save a resource for a test of will. So A1 for 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, and our Goblin Sniper again. Yeah. 7, 9, 11, 14. That's three, four, five, seven. Fourteen against seven in the staging area. Our first card, Brown Lands, and our second card, Driven by Shadow. So we added five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We added ten threat to the staging area, making it seventeen. But you know what? I'm going to cancel Driven by Shadow, not something I'd normally cancel, but I'd rather not raise my threat by that much. And we win by two. Travel immediately to the Brownlands, clearing it. And deck one will... Um, Optionally engage the Marsh Adder. Deck 2 will play well warned to reduce deck 1's threat by 3. And we'll block with Glyphloff, removing a progress token from the quest. Glyphloff will die, and deck 2 will play Valiant Sacrifice to immediately. Draw two cards for deck one. Ah, perfect. That was exactly what I needed. And Hama and Aomer will combine six, ten attack, more than enough to send the March Adder to the victory display. Oh, and deck two should have. Oh, that. I got the shadow cards mixed up. This is the one that should have gone to the Marsh Adder. That one is return an exhausted ally to hand. Okay, so Grim Boulder will return to the hand. And that one, as I said, should have gone to the Marsh Adder because this one should have gotten the first shadow effect. So the Eastern Crows remove that, and the Marsh Adder gets this one, which is choose and return an exhausted ally. And then, again, reducing threat by two to return to the staging area. The Goblin Sniper, damage to Hama, damage to Fastrid. Don't like that, but what can you do? Ready, ooh, Bowhammer, and Valiant Sacrifice again. Could be worse. OK. 
Okay, deck one. We'll go ahead and play Grimbold again. No. We'll leave a resource on A1 for a test of will. We'll actually play an Honor Guard to cancel point of damage. And deck two will play straight from the hand Gandalf using his effect to draw three cards that was not what we wanted drawing three cards getting both copies of Herogram and a copy of Well Worn that's unfortunate So, between Gandalf, Theoden, and Elfhelm, I can muster 10 attack, 12 with Bastrid. So if I sacrifice a Westfold Horse Breeder to the Hill Troll, I'll take an increase of 5 threat. That's okay, I have Bastrid to bring it back down. And then if I bring down the Eastern Crows over here, I can block them with a hero and kill them with Hama and get Foehammer. Because I don't have a Sentinel on the board, well, I have Theoden, but he's in no shape to be defending a Hill Troll. I think that's my best bet. I have just enough attack to kill a Hill Troll. Unless I somehow draw. You know, it almost seems like the better choice is to hope for a fourth Aerlingus draw with Bowhammer here. So, questing. Seven. A nine. No, seven. Ten. Twelve. We'll give it twelve. Press for twelve against four four in the staging area. First one is Dolgoldor Orcs. Oh. Honor Guard will cancel one point of the damage. We'll put one onto Aomer. And our second reveal is East Bite. We've added three, which is five. We'll travel to the East Bite. Option gauge. The orcs were here. And option gauge the crows over here. Shadows, shadows. We will block with Aylmer. Oh. Yep, and that's over. Where was the first copy of Fourth Year? I had drawn the first copy of Fourth Year Lingus right there. Which means I'd have suffered two more rounds of the Goblin Sniper. One more round of the Goblin Sniper. But instead I lose Elmer. Yeah, just all that direct damage from the start, and just no way to deal with it. Oh, I should have readied that in over there. And then Fastrid would have blocked and sent that back to the staging area. Yeah, just so much direct damage, no healing, no 
nothing. You know what? Let's just play. Let's just play that. We lost Aylmer. Hommel strike back. Kill the orc. Play foe hammer. Draw three cards. We'll lose two threat right there. And frankly, I'll probably I'd have probably played well worn on the orc. Damage on Gandalf, damage on the honor guard. Gandalf is discarded at the end of the round. We ready. Get a secret vigil. Get another copy of Snowman. That's unfortunate. Oh. And play our valiant sacrifice when Amor left to play. We need the cards. All right. Maybe I should have played it when Gandalf left play. That's all right. Okay, deck one. We'll drop an Ancient Mathem right there. That's fine. And we will quest with Eowyn and the Horse Breeder and Thaddeon. 7, 12, 13. We're questing for 13 against 4 in the staging area. We need to win by 6. First is an Eastern Crows, which surges into a Gladden Fields, and then a Beastmaster. 2, 5, 6. So, we make 3 progress. But that's fine. And it is now we will engage because we quest successfully fed and readies, we'll engage just those eastern crows. And It is now the combat phase. We ready Aelwyn with raising our threat by three. We play. We spend our two resources on fourth Aerlingus. And now all Rohan heroes can be declared as attackers against enemies in the staging area. The first thing we'll do is we'll defend with Fastrid, revealing a shadow card that does nothing. Deck one will drop it, or deck two will drop its threat to send that back to the staging area. And Eowyn has ten attack until the, well, eleven attack until the end of the phase. Okay. Theoden will attack four. Oh, I failed to mark. His attack boost there, and will attack for four because he has snow main. And elf helm for two, that's six attack. Enough to kill a Dogolder Beast Master. And then. Eowyn will attack for 11, which will put 8 points of damage on the hill troll, and Hama will attack for enough to kill a goblin sniper. Exhausting Spear of the Mark. Oh, and when Hama attacks, we will bring forth Aerlingus back, and drop one of our Galadrim's greetings, and we will also play Foe Hammer, drawing three more cards. And that is perfect. Let's add a progress over here on the turn counter just to note. We're ready, everybody. We have more cards than we know what to do with. 
we have an armored destrier, and it is deck one's turn first. Hmm. Resources are somewhat of a problem. Now, we're just going to not spend anything from deck two, or from deck one, and deck two will spend those resources, the resources from Fastred, to put Herogrim onto Theoden. And then next turn, or this combat phase, we'll do fourth Aerlingus, and clear that. I wish we'd had a West um, Road Traveler. We could have gone to, could have swapped it out for Gladden Fields and saved the Ancient Mathem for next turn. Anyways, A1 will quest for 7, 12, 14, 15. 15 against 1, 2, 3, 6. That should be more than enough. First is a Beastmaster, second is another Hill Troll. Oh, well then. We add three. We win by six. Drawing three cards. We'll travel to the Gladden Fields. And... Theoden readies because we successfully quested. And now we have to kill a second hill troll. Okay. First, Hama will play fourth Eerlegus. first thing we'll do with Hama is attack and kill that hell troll. Then over here, Theoden currently has three willpower, four attack. Theoden will attack for seven. Fast Red will attack for two. That's a total of nine, doing six damage to the hill troll. That's exciting. And now we will ready everybody, and our threat will go up by one further than we expected. We will draw Firefoot, because of course we will. How could it have ever possibly gone any different? Ooh, hey, there is no Firefoot out right now. So I could, in theory, play it on another hero. I'm not sure that that does me any good, though. I still don't have another Song of Travel, so Deck 2 will leave all of its resources as they are. And Deck 1... will save its resources to play 4th... No, we'll be engaging a Hill Troll. Unless we find some way to lower our threat, which we don't have. So... There's no point. Oh. In that case, let's drop an ancient Mathem up onto the Gladden Fields. And a Rohan Warhorse on Hama. Who will now be attacking for six into the staging area and for five otherwise. And we'll get two attacks from it. Alright. Questing. Or 15. Against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 15 against 5. 
Let's keep Alfalm up. We might need the extra attack. 13 against 5. Wolf Rider, which surges into Evil Storm, which whiffs, and then there's Wards. Bowed and Readies. Okay, we've added three, which is more than enough to clear that. And we'll draw three cards. Ah, that does me no good at all. Absolutely no good. Oh. I don't have enough to kill the hill troll. Nor do I really have enough defenses to... Oh, and plus that. Nope, that's game. Waited too long. I suppose. Should have pulled down the hill troll earlier and advanced. Losing armor was a blow. Funny story, if I had played Firefoot instead of the Rohan Warhorse on Tahama, he'd be at 6 attack and would have enough to kill the Hill Troll. I'd still lose time to defensive attacks. Well, that was the game. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.